so it is now a Friday, August 7th, I believe. I think so. But, um, I decided that basically I'm not going to vlog other than Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays because, truth be told, Monday through, I mean, even Friday, I'm working every day from 8, 8.30 or whatever. Sometimes I come in at even 7, 7.30 till 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And then I get I get home, I do stuff that I have to do at the house, and then I go pick up the girls before 6.30. Then I feed them, give them their baths, put them to sleep, do whatever I have to do, take care of myself. And it's pretty boring, basic, and routine, you know, those days. So I figured it was kind of pointless unless I really had something to say or I, you know, something happens to happen one of those days that I'm just like, I got to tell them or I got to show them or they got to see it. Then I'm not really going to vlog those days anymore. So my goal is to post a vlog every Monday. So I'll edit it whether... Sunday night or Monday afternoon after work and then post it that night on Monday and that's gonna be my goal from now on hopefully I can keep up with that so I should be posting a vlog whether today hopefully today um well tonight um as soon as I edit it I'm just trying to take care of the kids first and do what mine? I have to do can you open mine like mommy uh-huh give me a second but, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, and if it doesn't work out, oh well. But, basically, we just got home, I think it's 6 o'clock in the afternoon, and we're just gonna let them finish eating, that's what they're doing right now, and then I'm gonna actually have them get a bath, go to sleep, hopefully early, because I have defensive driving that I have to do. <laughs> Still, because I haven't finished it, and I still gotta take a driving course to renew my license before the end of the month. If not, I'm gonna have to pay like one two hundred fifty dollars ticket and another one for three hundred fifty dollars. I'm not trying to spend five hundred fifty dollars on something so stupid. So I'm not point blank period. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do all that. Girls, did you just fart? <laughs> And then, sorry, and then I'm gonna um, actually get in a little nice bath, use these um, bath bombs that I got. They're just like the Lush ones, but I got them from Target, and they were so much cheaper, so let's see how, you know, good they work out. And I also bought this new face wash, because if you can tell, my skin is not only super shiny, because my skin is oily, but it's also really hot. It's 104 degrees right now in Texas, so I'm, like, dying. Like, my skin is slowly but surely melting off my face. Like, y'all just don't realize it. It's about to, I swear to God. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so basically, I'm going to take a bath, start, pour me a cup of wine, do this new face skincare routine that I'm going to try out, because I bought... Uh, I guess Walgreens, actually, I don't know if it's across the country, but Walgreens partnered with this um, kind of like a drugstore slash uh, makeup store, I don't know exactly what it is, called Boots, and they're from the UK, so now they're Walgreens ah! Alliance, and they um, created this whole new uh, design and floor plan at the Walgreens by my house. And it looks really nice. It has really nice products. A lot of products are from the store Boots from the UK. So she recommended to me the face wash and the exfoliator for my face. And it's for oil, oil control and shine control. So I'm going to go ahead and try that out. And I will let you know, I'll let you guys know how that works. Because for any of you guys that have oily skin as it is, and then on top of that, you live somewhere where there's really bad weather and it's constantly messing with your skin like like I said it's 104 degrees in here like that's crazy I mean it's been hotter before I think the first time I came to Texas when we were just passing by on our way to Florida it was about 114 degrees like that was the hottest ever ever was and I think that was in the year 2004 so that was over 10 years ago but wow like I just I don't like it at all. Like, I miss California every day. Like, we moved out of California in 2004. We went to Florida for about eight years. And we've been here in um, Houston, Texas for three years. It's going to be in August. Yeah, three years at the end of this month. So, I'm just like, 
I'm already over it. Like, I've moved back to Florida for about mm, three and a half months, but it didn't work out. So, yeah. But let me just stop this clip right here because this is a long enough intro. It's like almost five minutes. Well, it is five minutes. So I will talk to you guys whether later on tonight or tomorrow because I will be going shopping for the kids and for myself for my school supplies because I do start school August 24th and it is tax free weekend here in Texas and I think it's in Florida too. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, I'm home now. I had gone to the mall, Target to go do my nails and to go out to eat with Harmony earlier and to drop off. Um, Amina at her grandma's and I picked her up then uh, afterwards <laughs> but uh, we went to go shopping because it's tax free weekend here in Texas and there's also a lot of back to school sales so I thought I would take advantage of that but that was a total fail like I didn't really buy too much I bought all my school supplies at Target that I needed for school this um, when it starts this month and I got um, my nine month old like two outfits and then Harmony's dad bought her shoes, some pants, and a dress, I believe. But, I mean, it was nothing major because it was so hectic, so crowded. There wasn't much left. Like, I was trying to go there at 9.30 in the morning. Like, as soon as the mall opened at 10, like, we'd be going through the doors. But her dad didn't get here till like, what was it, maybe 2 o'clock or something like that, I believe. So, that didn't happen, but... I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to order stuff online, whether tonight or tomorrow night, because that's when the sale ends, is tomorrow. That way it can just get delivered to my house, and that way it's more peaceful and a lot easier for me to shop and actually take my time looking at what I want. I usually don't like to shop online because you don't get to try the stuff on or, you know, just to see how it actually looks. And sometimes certain colors look one way on the computer and they don't look the same color you know, in person, but it is what it is, Harmony, leave your sister alone, but, um, yeah, so, I guess that's what I'm just gonna do, because, honestly, I'm not made to shop, like, when there's so many people in one, you know, closed in area, like, that just pisses me off, like, y'all don't even know, I was so angry the whole time, like, not like I'm gonna kill someone, but I was just, like, I was, I was starting not to feel too good, and I started feeling really lightheaded. I started getting a really horrible migraine, and I was like, you know what? We got to go. Like, I can't do this. And I still had to go to Target after the mall, but, I mean, Target wasn't that bad, you know? So I was like, all right, that's fine. Let's just go do this, and I already know what I need. We'll go really quick and then be out of there. And that was a lot less stressful than it was at the mall. But, yeah, basically, we're just going to chill a little he uh, at the house and... These little girls should be going to sleep within the next half hour. I have to do more defensive driving. I'm a, I should be done with it tonight. And then um, after that, I'm just going to chill. I'm supposed to, I was supposed to upload my vlog last night, but, well, my vlog number 11, but the computer just froze, and I was so tired. Like, I just knocked out. But that should be up tonight, hopefully. If not, I'm sorry, guys. I'll try to put it up tomorrow. The computer is just freaking out on me. Like, I don't know what's going on. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, I just got home, but I'm still in my car because it is so hot outside. I think it's about 103 degrees right now, and I'm just like not trying to get down. I think I'm just gonna stay in here for a little bit. Please, can I? No, but um, yeah, no, it's really hot outside, and I have to take the girls down and take down whatever I got from Target, so I'm just, like, procrastinating a little bit. I'm like, hey, let me vlog real quick before I get in the house, and it gets kind of hectic, because right now they're knocked out, so it's, like, the little 10 minutes I get before I go into the house, and they wake up and start acting like lunatics and whatnot, so, yeah, but we went to IHOP, which was crowded, by the way. Like, I've never gone to IHOP. <sighs> And it's this crowded. Like, I understand it's Sunday and a lot of people get out of church and they go to out to eat or they just go out to eat because, hey, it's the weekend. It's Sunday before you go back to work the next day and you go out with your family. But, Lord, it was packed. Like, I got there and I thought I was going to have to wait for, like, 45 minutes to an hour. But they were like, since it's only you and two kids, it's only going to be about a 15, 20-minute wait, which it wasn't even that long. It was, like, 10 minutes and they sat me down and they were pretty good at... Uh, attending to us quickly and bringing out our drinks and food quickly and 
I paid that I paid I got out of there we went to Target which is right next door and I was just looking for like some dividers because I went to another Target yesterday and they had these like plastic dividers that I really didn't like I wanted the old school like yellow uh, kind of construction paper kind with the different colored um, dividers and I didn't think I was gonna find them because they're pretty old school I'm like they're not gonna have that they're gonna have some crazy ass dividers right now but I found them and they were only 77 cents each and so it's tax-free weekend everything was pretty cheap like I wish it was tax free tax free weekend every weekend like I understand it can't be every day but at least every other weekend or every weekend like come on now government the government needs to chill like they already take a lot of our money and at the end of the day yeah sure they return most of it but when it's tax uh, return time but why do you gotta take it and then me give it and then give it back to me at the end of the year when I can just keep it and you don't even gotta give it back to me like we good but nah I understand how the system works so I understand there's a certain like order that they gotta go by but it's annoying and like I really enjoyed this tax for weekend like everything has been so much cheaper than usually and you would think oh no a few cents wouldn't matter here and there the tax the tax here in uh, the state of Texas is 8.25% of whatever you pay right when I was living in Florida I don't know if it was six or seven percent but it was the difference and I'm pretty sure in California it's a lot more but either way like going from seven percent to 8.25 that was ridiculous itself so I'm just like uh, really but oh well it is what it is I enjoyed this weekend I always enjoy my weekends off with my girls because I'm always with them and yeah they can get a little crazy sometimes especially when i'm by myself and i you know gotta be watching them and everything alone and picking them after them and running after the older one but they're my kids i love them to death so i'm not complaining but i had fun with them glad to be home and i'm probably just gonna go and change into some comfy clothes because i'm wearing the dress right now and i'll probably guys show you like the outfit of the day even though i'm already back home before i take it off because i think i look pretty cute and this lipstick is popping right now like i really like it it looks pink like a bubblegum pink um on camera but it's actually not a bubblegum pink it's like a lilac color it's let me see i have it in my purse Let me see if I look, find it. Ah! But it is Lilac Flush number 725 in Maybelline. And it looks like this. It's really cute. You can't really tell like if it's a lilac color. Maybe you can. But I really like it. Um, it's actually supposed to be in my haul. So I guess I shouldn't have showed that to you. But oh well, I like it. And I'll probably put up the haul before. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. I'm supposed to be recording like a collective haul tomorrow of school supplies and beauty products and hair products. And some people do it separately, but I just, I don't mind doing it together. It is what it is. But yeah, I'm going to get down and go into my house now. And I will talk to you guys later when I get all comfy and everything. See y'all later. I know my mirror is like super dirty, so whatever. I'm not going to clean it right now. <laughs> But this is basically my outfit, and I think this dress is from American Eagle, it's my sister's, and it's just long, and it has like the slits on the side, well, if I can open it, but yeah, the slits on the side, right here, on each side, and actually I think it's from the back, yeah, it's from the back, not from the side, sorry, no wonder I can find the slit. And I didn't have a bra that I can wear with this that looked okay, because... My black bra, um, the the wire, the underwire, popped out, and that's like the second time I had to buy a black bra, a black bra within this month. So I was like, oh well. So I kind of just tied it in the back, but it came out on the side since it's just like a halter dress. But I don't care. But yeah, I just wanted to show you my guys. I wanted to show you my guys. I wanted to show you guys my outfit for the day. And. I did very minor makeup, I didn't put no foundation on, I just did my eyebrows, and mascara, my lipstick, and a little bit of bronzer, which probably melts off already, because you can't tell, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. This is my failure of an attempt to make Patrick star in Spongebob for my daughter, yeah, and I still get horrible, like, Spongebob is not that bad, but Patrick, 
Yeah, he's struggling over there. <laughs> and I can guarantee you she's gonna want me to draw a thousand other things right now and I don't want to. <laughs> hey guys, it's Monday now and I didn't end the vlog last night. So I thought that I would end it today. Even though you think I would be starting out the vlog not ending it since it is not even eight o'clock in the morning. But oh well, I'm about to go drop off the girls at work right now. I'm on my way. I only live about two, three minutes away from the daycare. So yeah, and then after that I'm gonna go to Starbucks because I am craving like coffee and tea at the same time. So I might just get like two drinks today, both a coffee and a tea, just a smaller size. So usually I just get a venti, whatever, like I'm gonna get. But I'm not gonna get two venti drinks. Like I'm not gonna drink that much liquid in the morning. It'll be cold by the time. Um, I'm done with one and ready to drink the other. But I'm gonna do that and then I'll be going to work and I'll probably be like 20 minutes early, honestly. It is what it is. I'm usually early anyway. But yeah, I'm gonna drop off the girls right now. What do you wanna go do, Harmony? Um. What did you just say? Um. Where did you wanna go? You wanted to go shopping? Yeah. You don't want to go to daycare? No. No? Yeah. What do you want to do, Amina? Do you want to go shopping too? Mina? No, you ain't even paying no attention to me. You're like, I don't care. Tell them we're gonna, we're gonna end the vlog now, Harmony. Say bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. <laughs> Tell them, Mama, say subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> So it was making my skin look pretty dewy, which I like that, but look at my forehead.